artistic influences as a comic book creator, one of the biggest influences, and he probably doesn't even realize this because it was just a convention conversation that lasted five minutes. Carl Potts of Alien Legion fame, Punisher Warzone fame. I mean, the guy was huge in the 80s and 90s. I talked to him 10 years ago. I was just coming out of art school and I was struggling to get attention from publishers. I was just getting turned down left and right, but they were brutally honest. Not quite what we were looking for. Carl Potts was one of the first people, but he didn't make me go back to the drawing board. He looked at my work, talked to me about the rule of threes and panels and to stop putting my focal point in the center of the panel. I mean, he, was, he got super specific, like an art class criticism. This is working for me. This is not. This is how you get past the part that's not working. I go back to that conversation all the time, especially now that I'm art coaching. It was very simple advice, very brief. It was confidence instilling as opposed to being just kind of like waved off. That's one of the big problems with talking to people at conventions, especially publishers, is they just don't have the time to talk to you. Him taking the time and getting super specific specific with my work. It meant a lot to me. It made me feel more like a peer, more like a part of the comics community than I think any of those conversations, even with some of the publishers and editors, they made me feel like I wasn't part of the industry. Whereas Carl clearly felt like I had something to offer comics and wanted to make sure that I got there. I just will never forget that. I really appreciate it. Also, I loved Alien Legion. I felt so good because of that conversation that I bought every Alien Legion book on this table. And to this day, I still have them all signed and they sit in a place of honor. And thanks, Carl.